Telecommunications in Rwanda include radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Regulation Two government-appointed regulatory bodies, the Rwanda Information Technology Authority under the Rwanda Development Board, and the Rwanda Utilities Regulatory Agency supervise the regulatory frameworks and implementation of the county's policies and strategies in the telecommunications sector. RURA is a national body with autonomy in its administrative and financial management. However, its seven board members, supervisory board, and the managing director are nominated by and work under full control of the government. The telecommunications sector was liberalized in 2001, and the number of companies providing telephone and internet services increased from one, the state run Rwandatel, to ten in 2012. These providers are all privately owned, with the exception of Rwandatel. Rwandatel had the largest market share of fixed broadband subscriptions as of September 2012. <inaudible> <inaudible> Radio and television Radio stations Government owned and operated Radio Rwanda has a national reach, nine private radio stations, transmissions of multiple international broadcasters are available 2007, 0 AM, 8 FM, and one shortwave stations, two main FM programs are broadcast through a system of repeaters 2005. Radios, 601,000 Television stations the government owns and operates the only TV station, Television R Wandays, 2007. Two stations, 2004. Television sets, NA, probably less than 1,000, 1997. State TV and radio reach the largest audiences. Radio is the main source of news, and the international radio stations BBC World Service, Voice of America (VOA), and Deutsche Welle (DW) are available. Most radio stations are accessible online, either through their own websites and blogs, or through social media, radio, and in particular the hate station radio television Libra des Mil Collines RTLM, played a role in the 1994 genocide. Telephones <inaudible> 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 Calling code, plus 250 International call prefix, 000 Main lines 44,400 lines in use, 167th in the world 2012 23,200 lines in use 2002 Mobile cellular, 5.7 million lines, 104th in the world 2012 Telephone system a government-sponsored fiber optic cable expansion project was completed improving telecommunication services throughout the country 2011. .A well-developed mobile cellular network covers nearly 98% of the population 2013. A small, inadequate telephone system primarily serves business, education, and government. The capital, Kigali, is connected to the centers of the provinces by microwave radio relay and, recently, by cellular telephone service. Much of the network depends on wire and HF radio telephone. Combined fixed line and mobile cellular telephone density has increased and now exceeds 40 telephones per 100 persons. International connections employ microwave radio relay to neighboring countries and satellite communications to more distant countries 2010. Satellite Earth stations, one Intelsat Indian Ocean in Kigali includes Telex and Telefax service 2010. .The three main mobile phone operators are Mountain, Tigo and Airtel with market shares of 64%, 34%, and 2% respectively. Internet. Top-level domain, RW Internet users 
937,964 users, 120th in the world, 8.0% of the population, 177th in the world 2012. 450,000 users 2009, 118th in the world 25,000 users 2002. Fixed broadband, 2,806 subscriptions, 167th in the world, less than 0.05% of population, 181st in the world 2012. Wireless broadband, 379,331 subscriptions, 99th in the world, 3.2% of the population, 119th in the world 2012. Internet hosts, 1,447 hosts, 168th in the world 2012. IPv4 to 195,840 addresses allocated, 117th in the world, less than 0.05% of the world total, 16.8 addresses per 1,000 people 2012. Internet service providers, 4 ISPs 2005, Rwanda ranked in first place in Africa for broadband download speeds and 62nd globally with a speed of 7.88 megabits per second in February 2013. The Internet has been available from mobile cellular phones since 2007, but the high cost of phones and limited bandwidth restrained its popularity for several years. With completion of the government-sponsored fiber optic cable expansion project in 2011, telecommunication services throughout the country have improved and the amount of mobile cellular internet access and use has increased. In 2009, RURA set up the Rwanda Internet Exchange (RINEX) to connect ISPs and enable the routing of local internet traffic through a central exchange point without having to pass through international networks. ISPs can also opt to connect via RINEX to the international Internet. As of the end of 2013, only five ISPs exchange Internet traffic via RINEX, and the price for national access remained the same as for international access. Internet access is limited mostly to Kigali, the capital city, and remains beyond the economic capacity of most citizens, particularly those in rural areas who are limited by low disposable incomes and a low level of digital literacy. More than 90% of the population lives in rural areas, with most engaged in subsistence agriculture. Between 70% and 90% of the population speaks only Kinyarwanda, making Internet content in English unavailable to the majority of Rwandans. In 2015, the Internet penetration rate was about 25% of the population. Internet censorship and surveillance Rwanda was rated, "...partly free", in Freedom on the Net 2013 by Freedom House with a score of 48, somewhat past the midway point between the end of the range for, "...free", 30 and the start of the range for, "...not free". 60. The law does not provide for government restrictions on access to the Internet, but there are reports that the government blocks access to websites within the country that are critical of the government. In 2012 and 2013, some independent online news outlets and opposition blogs were intermittently inaccessible. It is uncertain whether the disruptions are due to government blocking, as was the case in past years, or to technical issues. Some opposition sites continue to be blocked on some ISPs in early 2013, including Umasingi and Inunyeri News, which were first blocked in 2011. Social networking sites such as YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and international blog hosting services are freely available. The websites of international human rights organizations such as Freedom House, Amnesty International, and Human Rights Watch, as well as the online versions of media outlets such as the BBC, Le Monde, Radio France Internationale, The New York Times, and many others are freely accessible. Websites of national news outlets are also easily accessible. These include the web versions of state-run media and pro-government outlets as well as independent outlets such as the Rwanda Focus, Russiashia, The Chronicles, Umasanzu, and Rwanda Dispatch. The Constitution provides for freedom of speech and press, in conditions prescribed by the law. The government at times restricts these rights. 
The government intimidates and arrests journalists who express views that are deemed critical on sensitive topics. Laws prohibit promoting divisionism, genocide ideology, and genocide denial, spreading rumors aimed at inciting the population to rise against the regime. Expressing contempt for the head of state, other high-level public officials, administrative authorities or other public servants, and slander of foreign and international officials and dignitaries. These acts or expression of these viewpoints sometimes results in arrest, harassment, or intimidation. Numerous journalists practice self censorship. In June 2011, a court convicted journalist Jean Bosco Gassazira in absentia of displaying contempt for the head of state and incitement to civil disobedience for his writings in the online publication Umavugizi and sentenced him to two and a half years in prison. The constitution and law prohibit arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence. However, there are numerous reports the government monitors homes, telephone calls, emails email, internet chat rooms, other private communications, movements, and personal and institutional data. In some cases monitoring has led to detention and interrogation by State Security Forces SSF. See also Terrestrial fiber optic cable projects in Rwanda Media of Rwanda